So who am I speaking with? My name is Mark Miller. I work for Developer Express in the IDE Tools division. All right, and you gave a fantastic uh, presentation on uh, UI. And uh, what I'd like to know is, you know, there's so many things to do in UI, but boil it down to two or three items will give me the biggest bang for the buck that I should be doing right away. Okay, well, I say that the, the, number one, you need to, I say number one in, in my head, like, you know, five things come up to number one. But, but, but there are a couple things. One is recognize that everything you present is information. Everything on screen is information, right? So if I have a table with data in it, the data is information, but so are the lines of the table. And the second thing that you need to recognize is that Every bit of information has information as a relevance associated with it. It may be highly relevant or it may have very low relevance. For example, the lines of a table is low, re low relevant data and the data itself is high. And then, and then, now that we can place a value on the relevance of, of, the, of the information, we then need to tie emphasis to the value. So low relevant information, the lines of the table, needs to be rendered in a low contrast, like thin lines, for example, maybe a gray on a white background, whereas the data itself needs to be rendered in high contrast, right? Maybe thicker, bolder, or black, for example, on a white background. Okay. So that is like one of the things that you need to need to think about in terms of clarity. From the standpoint of just just good UI, a, a lot of the a, a, I think a lot of people will agree that good UI minimizes physical interaction, minimizes interaction, right? And and I, I think it also minimizes mental interaction. So so on the physical side of things, you have physical movement, right? How how many keys I'm pressing, for example, I have to do Control Alt C or Control K followed by a Control C. These kinds of combinations. There's a lot of physical activity there compared with a simple just pressing the letter C or maybe hitting the space bar, which is big, right? For example. So there's a physical component: how far I have to move the mouse, how many clicks, how many keystrokes, how far I'm moving my fingers, that sort of thing. There's a physical aspect, and there's also a mental aspect, right? Time to grok. How long does it take for me to figure something out? that's presented to me, right? Filtering through noise to find signal, for another example. So, so I, I think what's good is that we, we or, or the, I guess the takeaway from the session is that UI is measurable and you can do something about it. And to do something about it, you have to first agree upon criteria. So the team says, what are we going to, is valuable? Is it, is it going to be that, that we're going to minimize motion, minimize brain power, that sort of thing? That's what our value is. That's what our criteria is we agree upon. Then, okay, we go from there. And then we can look at the UI and say, what is going to minimize the physical aspect? What's going to minimize the mental aspect? And we can move forward using that criteria. UI is not subjective. It's completely something, it's something that can be completely measured and you can make decisions upon. All you have to do is agree upon the criteria.